One of my favorite tools online is Spline Design, allowing you to create 3D objects that are animated and interactive. They've just come up with a brand new product called HANA that allows you to do all of this in a 2D environment now, which is light and production ready. So in this video, I wanna check it out. This is HANA. One of the benefits of it is that it is lightweight and allows you to still have all the benefits of animation and interaction, but now in an environment that allows you to have that happening in the background where you can import it to any homepage, any hero section, or even any type of design. Now, there are all sorts of ways you can incorporate this, from things that follow your mouse movement to just animation that happens in the background that you could add to a hero section. Let's have a look at how to jump into Spline Design and start adding these to your own website. Here on the Spline Design website, I'm simply gonna log in with my account. And here on the top right, I'm gonna select Create and use the new HANA 2D design tool. Here's the first thing we'll put together, a home icon, one that has a nice hover animation when we mouse over. HANA is so easy, we'll put this together in just one or two minutes. HANA is a little bit like Figma. We have some tools here at the top, we have layers on the left, and then on the right hand side, we have an inspector section. I'm gonna start off by adding a empty frame, and this is kind of like the canvas we'll be working inside of. I can select to play it, but right now it's got nothing in there. So I'm gonna add a rectangle. This will be the button where I'll create the icon. If I zoom in and out, I'll be able to see this a little bit better. On the right panel, I can start updating this similar to how I would design a button with corners or with background colors. And for this, I'm just gonna add a slight corner of maybe 30 pixels. Next, I want to add a state. States allow us to create animations where we have an original state and a modified state. We're going to just change the background here to have a white color. And when I select play, it'll go from one state to another. Not very useful though, because we've got no interaction or animation just yet. For this, we'll need an event. I'll create to add a new one, which will add a transition when we start the frame. And this transition will be modified to run over about one second and ease from one state to another. I'll select play to test this out and we can see it going from gray to white. Great, but there is no interaction with my mouse cursor. For this, we'll need to change and modify the event to go from start to on mouse hover. Now we've got something closer to a button. If I select play and hover over, I can see that the background is changing. And these are the essentials of how HANA works. So let's have a look at some dynamic ways we can use it. Now there was this other icon here, this blue one with a page, and its animation works slightly different. It has this really cool slide that goes up and down when you hover. And I wanna show you how this can be replicated. If we select the group, the group container here has two different states. It's also quite tall. And what's happening in the background is we're simply moving it up. It's as simple as that. This is created with a sequence that also rotates the icon. Since the frame is naturally cropped, anything outside of it is invisible, and that's why we're getting this effect. If you wanna take a closer look at how all of this works, we can hover over the event states and see the transitions over here as the sequence happens on mouse hover. I'll share these examples in the comments below so that you guys can take a closer look as well. The mouse isn't the only thing that you can animate. You can also animate actions like selecting keys on the keyboard. This will kick off an event Event that'll have a transition with this animation. Pretty cool. And all done in just a few seconds. When put together, and this lets you create scenes like this, where you've got a dynamic keyboard that changes when you press different types of keys. Another type of animation is based on mouse movement or its position. This can be done by having a number of items with a animation event based on the mouse position or orientation. Here we've got a black dot that follows the mouse cursor. And we also have these rectangles and they look at where the mouse cursor is and change their direction for the Y coordinate coordinate to always face that cursor. Pretty simple for a complex animation that can look really cool just from a few different elements that repeat. And this is the true power of Spline Design's new 2D tool. Finally, let's take a look at how we export these so we can throw them onto an actual website. If you've used Figma before, it's very similar to that. You just head to the bottom right where you can select export and then down here you get a link. This is the link to the official file in the web browser, which you can preview. It runs at full width and the settings of which can be modified and updated here in the configuration. Now I'll import this into my project. 
I'll create a div here with a height of 1 to 8 using Tailwind CSS and paste the iframe in. And that's it. Here on my website, I'm just going to head to the home page and you can see the files loaded up and taken up all the available space I've provided. However, I don't think it's large enough, so I'll increase the max height of this div and you can see that it's used up that space now. Hopefully that gives you a crash course on how to utilize HANA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big thanks to Spline Design for sponsoring it. And I hope you guys get a chance to check out Hannah and tell me what you think in the comments below.